All right, so one of my favorite kinds of questions on the LSAT is strengthening questions. And okay. so do you remember how I have a spectrum of arguments on the LSAT, like or, or, on an argument? Like I believe that all arguments have like a, a spectrum of strength. Mm -hmm. And so an argument has all of our different premises. It could be two, three, four, but the goal of an argument is to try to get to the conclusion, correct? Yeah. But so often the premises do not actually add up to the conclusion. And whenever they don't add up or they don't guarantee this 100%, then mm -hmm. it's flawed or it's invalid. So if it doesn't add up to 100%, it's invalid. Okay. I just share that because that's so that I can put into perspective what the goal of a strengthening question is. So if I said it's hot outside, which I believe I used this um, example last time, if it's hot outside, therefore we should get ice cream. What is our premise? We should get ice cream. Oh, it's hot outside. It's hot outside. Yep, our conclusion <laughs> is that we should get ice cream. Should get ice cream. Is this a valid oh. argument? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's valid. It's 100 um, percent. Yeah. Okay. So this is um, <laughs> the thing of the yeah. LSAT comes in is to me this argument makes complete sense, but mm -hmm. just because it makes complete sense doesn't mean that it's 100 percent valid. Correct. Okay. So on my um, argument strength spectrum, I should write that down. Argument strength spectrum. I would put this argument maybe like right here. Like it's not a bad argument. If I said that to someone, nobody's gonna make fun of me for saying it, Yeah. but it's not rock solid. Rock solid is whenever something is with 100% certainty. An example of that would be, I live in Ohio, therefore I live in the United States. That is a rock solid argument, correct? There's yeah. no way to it, misprove it. Yeah. So, um. What our goal is for a strength in question is to add another premise to the argument that gets us closer to this conclusion. So we want to add something that will move our strength as close to the rock as we can get. Okay. Where on the opposite, if we were if it was a weakened question, what we would be trying to do is add a premise that would be trying to get us as far away from the rock as possible. Okay, that's a very good example. <laughs> Thanks. So if it's hot outside, therefore we should get ice cream. If we were going to strengthen, strengthen this, this is a bottom up question. So that means that we have our stimulus, we have our question stem, and then we have our five answer choices. Mm -hmm. On bottom up questions, we get to bring in new information. Okay. So we get to be creative here. So if we get to bring in new information, um, what new information could we potentially bring in to strengthen the idea that we should get ice cream? Because it helps you, let's say, keep hydrated. Yeah, I guess yeah. If ice cream keeps you hydrated. I like to think creative. I like to think like, um, maybe it's, um, there's an ice cream truck outside or, everybody loves ice cream or um, we have a gift card to get ice cream or it's national ice cream day. Any one of those things would get us closer to the rock, right? Some like it being national ice cream day might not be as strong as all people love ice cream, but they're all at least strengthening it a little bit, right? Yeah. Awesome. So I want you to um, come up with your own argument for a second. What would be your own argument? for the ice cream or okay so our example now is um i like dogs i'm gonna say i love dogs which mm -hmm. by the way i have a dog she has an instagram it's della the doodle <laughs> you totally <laughs> should follow her that's how you spell della <laughs> Thanks, oh, Dan. you probably see in the emails that you get from me i use memes from her she's a leader oh, yeah? <laughs> she's named after nelson and doodle um, okay, so if we love dogs, therefore I should get a dog. Put that in my home. All right, so what 
could we add to so right now even though i think that this argument is yeah i like dogs all the way over here because i think dogs are cool it's still mm -hmm. not rock solid right mm -hmm. what could we add to this argument to make it a little bit stronger what type of what premise could we add dogs bring happiness dogs bring happiness absolutely so when we have different arguments there's different ways that we can bring in um there's different ways that we can strengthen the question and like more else to terms but if we think critical about these they make sense so let's continue with um i love dogs mm -hmm. therefore i should get a dog one of the ways that we can strengthen an argument is by denying an alternative possibility so what could we add to this argument that would be denying an alternative possibility um um, cats are, I mean, dogs are better than cats. Yeah, there we go. We can't get a cat. We're, that might not strengthen it a ton, but yeah. it strengthens it a little bit because we're at least not getting a cat. So we're a little bit closer to getting a dog. Maybe we could say um, we have to get an animal and we cannot get um, a, ca a cat or a reptile or something like that that would strengthen it because we're denying an alternative possibility okay. okay um another way that we can strengthen it is by promoting the evidence relevant to the conclusion so what this means is sometimes like what does loving a dog have to do with actually getting a dog you know like i i love a lot of things like i love elephants yeah. i'm not going to get an elephant <laughs> So, yeah, so we have to show why this evidence is relevant. So what could we add? What premise could, what new information could we bring in or to show that this is relevant? Um, uh, it could be uh, dogs are, I love dogs because dogs are smart and but even that elephants could be smart. That doesn't mean I'm going to get them. Oh. Maybe it is. Um, so what I would say is people that love dogs are significantly likely to be able to take care of them. Okay. But in that, that's connecting loving dogs to getting one. To actually getting one, right? Like, why does this matter? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if we had a survey, this is just like kind supporting the evidence validity. So this is just like saying that the study was well done. So if we said if there if our argument included a study where 95% of people that love dogs have dogs, we could say that the study um they have dogs because because yeah, because they like like they somehow showing that it like the sample size was correct, it was properly done, it was large enough, it wasn't biased, etc. Okay. And then the last one is just providing additional evidence. And that's the one that we did previously when we said about the ice cream one, where it's hot outside, therefore we should get ice cream. Like, oh, it's National Ice Cream Day, or all people love ice cream. This one is the one that we most commonly think about. It's just providing additional evidence. Okay. All right. So this is the question that we were just working on. I'm going to read this one to you. So some, so at least one health official are concerned with the current sustained increase in reported deaths from alcohol-related contrib contributions, attributing this increase to an in to a rise in alcoholism. So we're saying, so like at least one person is concerned that there are more deaths being reported as, um, are more alcohol-related deaths, and they're saying that it is because of a rise in alcoholism. What part of an argument is this? There's a um background information kind of but some okay. health official so it's the opinion of others right okay yeah so some i gotta remember that when it's some is usually like some is at least one, yeah but some because we're talking about someone else right yeah this isn't uh yep okay so some health officials so let me say what these health officials are overlooking however is that attitudes towards alcoholism have changed radically so now we're kind of inserting an opinion. We're saying, hey, what these health officials are overlooking is that the attitude towards alcohol has changed radically. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ooh, I wonder, like, why has it changed radically? How has it changed radically? 
alcoholism is now widely viewed as a disease where in the past it was considered a moral failing. So that's kind of answering that question that mm -hmm. I just asked when I was engaging with it. When I said, oh, I want to know why, how it was changed radically. Mm -hmm. Where now we're saying alcoholism is now widely viewed. This tells us how. So this is just a fact or background information, right? Okay, yeah. Because we're showing us how. It is therefore likely that more deaths are being reported as alcohol related because physicians are more likely to identify these deaths as alcohol related. So we have an indicator word that is saying it is therefore likely okay. that more deaths are being reported as alcohol related. And then we have a premise indicator. This is one of my favorite words because, yes. because is always followed by a premise. And because is actually synonymous with since and for, just FYI, that's important to know. These always are followed by a premise. As in therefore? Well, no, no, because, because, because is followed by the premise. Okay. So we're saying it is therefore, so therefore likely, therefore is a, a conclusion indicator word, but we're saying it is therefore likely that more deaths are being reported as alcohol related. That more deaths are being alcohol related. Why? Because our support for it is physicians are more likely to identify these deaths as alcohol related. Mm -hmm. um, so what is our conclusion here? More deaths are reported. Um, yeah, so how did you know it was that and not that the health, what the health officials are overlooking is that attitudes for alcoholism have radically changed. Why did I know that? Mm -hmm. um, more deaths are because more deaths are reporting being reported as alcohol related because. Because this one, like the one on top, it's have changed radically. It's kind of like supporting it. More deaths are being reported as alcohol related because now physicians are, are it's not moral anymore. It's a disease. Yeah, we're saying that, um, we're saying that, yeah, the health officials are overlooking that the attitudes towards alcoholism have changed radically and we're using that idea that the attitudes have changed radically to support the idea that it's actually not because there's a rise in alcoholism, right? Mm -hmm. We're saying it's because the physicians are just actually more likely to identify these deaths as alcohol related. Why mm -hmm. are they more likely to identify these deaths as alcohol related? Because there's been an attitude change. Yeah. People see it differently. So whenever we read this question, we see which of the following, if true, most oftentimes when a stimulus has if, that means it's going to be a top-up question. But we say it provides the most support. So this means like the most support or the biggest premise for supporting our argument. So we want to, um, what we're trying to do is add something that is going to show us that it's more likely that the deaths are re being reported as alcohol related because physicians are more likely to identify these deaths as alcohol related. This is what we're trying to strengthen. We are trying to strengthen our conclusion. So after we read that, now we're gonna predict an answer. What could we add to this that would strengthen this idea? Remember if that is you can bring in your own, like just think of anything that you think that would work. 